Hey guys, it's Josh here from Easy Crypto Hunter, one of the UK's best providers here for cryptocurrency mining in the UK, serving the world um, as well as most of Europe with top end equipment that we like to get out there. So we wanted to get to you some of the best and newest information we can because we've got our hands on a 38 GPU. So this video is going to simply explain some of the mining hash rates for specifically Ethereum. Um, and we're going to continue to release updates for new algorithms as that information becomes available. But we've done some tests internally here um, to be able to provide the data for you in its raw form. So without further ado, we'll get straight into it. So we have finally our hands on a, here we are in the camera, a 3080 GPU fresh from NVIDIA. And um, we spent a good long bit of time queuing up to get our hands on one of these bad boys just to be able to give you some results and get the results out there as quick as we could. Um, we know many of you are eager for the results of the mining hash rate particularly. So there are some amazing YouTubers out there that have done some reviews on the details of the card, some really nice pretty things about how it works, what it looks like. We didn't get one of the founders editions, we've actually got an MSI Venta SKU. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty hefty. Um, it's a pretty much a two and a half slot card. It's a, it's a bit of a beast, it's a really nice, Beautiful bit of kit. Um, so Nvidia has done an amazing job with the chip inside this thing. MSI has done a great job too, um, with a nice triple fan design there. So not the normal push and pull configuration you may have seen online, the standard more triple fan that you're used to. But what you're really here for is the numbers. Um, and without further ado, we'll get straight into those. So what myself and the team have been able to do is at this point, we've only been able to establish the hash results for Ethereum because the other miners are yet not as compatible um, with the new card as they will be in the next couple of days. So we're gonna try to get those results out for other algorithms as soon as we can, but the Ethereum hash rate will give us a rough baseline estimate as to what it's gonna mine on some of the other algorithms as well. So let's have a little look at the numbers and what we've been able to do here. So ultimately what we have here is the numbers that can be seen. So nice and simply we've been able to not just get some basics for you we've actually taken some time to get some overclock settings in there as well so the headline numbers is this first section here which is the out of the box numbers that you will receive so completely on zero overclock with zero kind of anything going through so zero core zero memory and 100 percent power you're looking at roughly a 300 watt card so it's a pretty hefty power card it will really take some juice to get this thing up to speed not so much a problem if you're gaming but of course a little bit more of an obstacle for us miners so ultimately straight out the box you're going to get 86 mega hash um, ethereum mining so pretty decent number but obviously that's quite high on the energy usage versus some of the other cards that are out there so what we've been able to get is a kind of uh, watt per hash ratio here of 0.285. So all of these have been some of the tests that we've ran, but the numbers that you're really interested in is this line here in purple, which basically we've got the optimum overclock. So for those of you that don't know, um, the previous generations of card, the 20 series, you could pretty much only overclock to a thousand memory. And the new series of cards, the 30 series is looking like you can clock them up to 1500 um, on the memory core clock, which is pretty impressive um, so 1500 was a test that we went to above um, we worked out that 1250 on the memory and 75 percent power gave us the best overclocks in terms of hash per watt performance with a maximum hash rate that we received during testing of 103 mega hash which is pretty damn impressive so when we boil all that down the purple line here is really what you can see as is of interest and ultimately that lands us at still a very high power usage 250 watts per card but that does give us a consistently safe average hash rate speed of just over exactly 100 mega hash per card which is pretty damn impressive so as you can see the new 3080 is an absolute weapon of a card and video have done a pretty stellar job on this one it's a decent move forward um, both for gamers, for, for miners, obviously, the verdict's still out there as to kind of the price of these cards, 
it, it was fairly you know reasonable price at the entry level that we saw for the people that have lucky enough to get them at this point but will the prices increase as supply kind of dries up will there be months worth of famine and people can't get their hands on them who knows how this is going to pan out ultimately we're not quite sure with corona and many different things what supply and the mechanics of all this is going to work like but the long and short of it is is that i think it could be a fantastic card for miners and gamers alike it's a really solid product and video have done so big congratulations to them for a very successful uh, technology move forward um but of course what we're really interested in is how this is going to continue to change the ecosystem for mining particularly here in this channel um, pertaining to the other hash rates which we don't yet have access to so as soon as we get those we'll be able to fill you in with all the information as other miners become available so if you'd like to leave a like on this video and a subscribe to the channel we'll promise to get that information to you as quick as we humanly can as we continue internally to make these tests to get this out there so you can see that data and then make decisions on yourself moving forward as to what you'd like to do and how the cards are looking compared to other things so that would be really helpful if you can give us a like and a share down below ultimately we look forward to seeing you in the next video and we hope that you enjoy this card and this video has been really helpful for you